So I'm going to quickly show you how to strip down your Dreamcast into its component parts and a few people had been asking me about this recently asking whether it was difficult and didn't need like any special tools or any of that sort of thing so I just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually do this and the fact that you don't need any special tools you really don't even need any kind of great practical abilities or know how to fix things it's really straightforward and very easy to do Pretty much the only tool you're going to need for this is one of these, just a standard crosshead screwdriver and that's pretty much it. It shouldn't even take you more than 10 minutes to get to this kind of stage here. So you can see I've already taken apart one of my systems here and this is one of my Japanese ones you can see by the, the orange logo on the top there. So not a whole lot to it, you've got your two outer sections here, you've got the top and the bottom. Uh, in the middle here you've got your GD-ROM drive, that's your uh, motherboard, that's your modem, that's the little cable that connects up to the power supply that switches it on and off. You've got your controller ports back there, this is some RF shielding that goes around the, the motherboard and then that's your power supply at the back there. And that's pretty much it. All the components are basically modular so they just clip onto each other and everything's held together by uh, just standard screws like these ones here and yeah, using my <laughs> trusty ice cube tray here to keep them all separated out because uh, they're all slightly different you can see they're all slightly different colours and lengths so it's a good idea to keep them, keep them separated out so yeah what I thought I'd do is I've got another Dreamcast here you can see I've got a, a PAL Dreamcast you can tell it's PAL because it's got the little blue logo on the top uh, this one's going a bit yellow but uh, what I thought I'd do is take this one apart on camera and just give you a, kind of a, a bit of a breakdown about what I'm doing and uh, how I get the, the console from this state here to, to this here. And I thought I'd also try and challenge myself, make it a bit more fun. I reckon I can do this, take this thing completely apart in five minutes with nothing more than the, the screwdriver, just a, a regular manual screwdriver like this one here. So pretty much more or less the runtime of the afterburner uh, music so I thought I'd make a bit of a challenge out of it and uh, hopefully show some people how to take these things apart at the same time so yeah what we're gonna do now is just basically clear all this away and then uh, yeah get to taking one of these apart so that's what I'll do now okay so I've got the Dreamcast, I've got my screwdriver and I've got my ice cube tray here ready to go so hopefully I can get this done within five minutes but we'll find out so first thing I'm going to do here is take the top off the Dreamcast so just turn this over pop the modem off you've got four screws here holding that on so I'll take those off there's one Three. And that's four. So let's turn it back over again. You just lift the top off. So that's that. Next thing we're going to do here is remove the power supply. So that's just this little cable here. Unplug that. It's connected here as well, but everything's held, held in together by two screws. There's one here and one here. So take those off. One. And that's two. So now there's like a clip just here. Let's just grab it in the front here and then push this clip to the side and gently wiggle it out. And that's how you got your power supply out. So underneath the power supply there's also this plastic uh, piece of plastic <laughs> that's uh, basically to uh, insulate that from the, the motherboard underneath. It's actually quite an important part, so hold on to that. Next thing we're going to do here is remove the, the GD-ROM drive. There's three screws holding this in. One, two, and three. So just remove those. Remember to keep these all separated out when you're uh, taking them out. Because they're all slightly different. That's three. So then you can just pop the, the GD-ROM drive out like this. It just plugs straight into the motherboard, so that's your GP ROM drive out. Next thing I'm going to take out is the, the controller ports here, these are quite dusty. And all I like to do here is there's a little ribbon cable up the front, and I just like to pop this out from the, the motherboard side, so like that. Then you've got four screws holding these in, down the 
front. Hopefully you can see that okay. So there's four screws. Just remove them. And these are quite long screws, so again just remember to keep these uh, separated out from the, the rest of them. One. Easy. The uh, screwdriver is magnetized, so you should just stick to the end of it when you're uh, done unscrewing them. So then you can just pop that forward like that, and it's still connected to the fan, so just be careful there. You want to unhook that last, so that's your, uh, your controller port out. And we do for time. Ooh, three and a half minutes almost so next thing we're gonna have to do here is take the, the motherboard out and that's held in by two screws down the side here these are two kind of brass colored screws the four at the back and then another two or three and you look at it from the side so just remove them so there's two silver or two uh, brass colored ones down the side here so my hand's gonna be a bit in the way here and the ones down the back are the black screws Separated out. And the last one here. That. So now you can take out the front section of the the controller port there, that's just held in by two, those two posts in there. And now what you can do is take the top section off the uh, the motherboard. Actually it's just all going to come out as one here. Um, sometimes you'll find it's easier just to take the top section off. Uh, and you can see that's the bottom of the motherboard there. Uh, but that's all come out as one so that's pretty easier. You're still left with the, the shielding in the bottom there. It should just pop out. Maybe clipped into the uh, plastic housing slightly, but a wee bit of trouble there. That's it. Three, so that's that. Now we're just left with the fan and the power switch. You don't really need to take these out. Uh, well, I mean, you shouldn't ever really have to, but I'm just going to do it anyway just to be thorough. What we at? Uh, we're over five minutes, or we're just about five minutes if you give me a little intro. So that's that. And then the fan here is held in place by another two little screws. Ideally, you'd want maybe a, a smaller screwdriver for that, but um, I'll make do with this one. And that is it. Nope, that's falling in there. Yoink. So there we go, that's the, the fan out. And that is the Dreamcast completely stripped down to its component parts. So, uh, what was that? Just over five minutes, five and a half minutes, give or take. I don't know. So, there you go. Just wanted to quickly show you how to take apart your your Dreamcast. If you want to put it back together again, I suppose you can just watch this video <laughs> in reverse. But uh, yeah, really easy to do. All you need is basically a, a crosshead screwdriver like this one here, and that is pretty much it. So. Hopefully that's useful to, to someone. Um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.